Hi, I'm Anthony with EAC Product Development Solutions. Today I want to talk to you about how engineers and designers pull in CAD data from multiple systems. Our mission is to transform the way companies design, manufacture, connect to, and service their products. One of the ways we transform design is by providing the tools engineers and designers need to be more productive. One of those tools is Creo Parametric with Unite Technology. Let's take a look. All right, one of the great things about Creo is the opportunity to pull in data from different CAD systems. They call it Unite Technology. Historically, when you pull in third-party CAD information, you're at the mercy of how good the imported data is. Sometimes it has missing surfaces or isn't solid, and you can spend a lot of time trying to fix things. With Unite, you can pull native information from a number of different CAD platforms, like SolidWorks, Solid Edge, NX, Katia, and Inventor. How this works is pretty simple. Let's op open or import a SolidWorks model. Okay, there we go. Once we do that, you see we get a model that's solid. It's not missing surfaces, it's clean. There are no issues. That's the power of Unite and Creo. You will see, however, we don't have a history tree. This is intentional. PTC decided to focus on building accurate imported geometry rather than history trees. After I tell an engineer or designer that, they normally ask how they can make changes without a history tree. Well, again, Creo has the answer. It's a tool called flexible modeling. Flexible modeling is an editing tool that lets you edit any CAD model, whether it's a Creo model or some other model that you need to change. You don't need to worry. Flexible modeling looks at geometry, not model history. You can make changes regardless of how things are associated parametrically, or in this case, with no associations at all, because again, this is an imported feature. Now, I cannot stress how much, like, this is a very powerful tool. Allowing you to easily change imported data is awesome. Let's show off flex modeling a little bit. See the steering stops on this motorcycle triple tree? I want to change them, but I want to change them at the same time. This is super easy with flex modeling. With a few clicks, I select multiple surfaces, choose the symmetry option, and flex modeling will now recognize these as symmetrical features. So if I want to make a change the location of the steering tree, maybe there was a design change or something like that, I can go ahead and grab everything and just move it, either by dimension or just drag it into place to see what things look like. Creo lets me do things I couldn't do parametrically in the past. I can take the same feature and tilt it at an angle. I mean, that's because again, it's direct editing. It's not looking at the parametric features and all the constraints of this design. All I need to do to propagate this change over to the other side is included in the symmetry feature right there. All right. Once I do that, you'll see both left and right side change. And after I click OK, you'll see a change in the model tree, noting we modified this model. In the past, this would have taken a lot of time and effort to remove the bad information, create new features, but Creo makes it very simple and straightforward. Another cool feature of flex modeling is the ability to recognize patterns. For example, I want to recognize the whole pattern on this design. I just select an entire hole, and Creo recognizes the pattern very quickly. It understands that there are six holes, which is great, but the real power here is now I can edit this pattern. I'll turn on editing and change the number of holes I want to display. In this case, I'm going to say four and 90 degrees. Once I do that, I get a preview of where the four holes are going to be, and I also get these toggles where I can say, you know what, I don't want four holes, I want three, but I want the spacing of four. It's pretty straightforward on how to do that. I click OK, and now we have the new hole pattern. Right there. Yeah. All right. Another example of some things that are typically done in flex modeling, like maybe I need to change the size of this hole. Not a problem. I can easily select a hole, select modify analytic, and change the size of the hole. Not a problem. Flex modeling is smart enough to realize this is a hole, and it allows us to change the radius from 15.5 to 9. Once I do that, everything updates. It's easy to do these things. There's no need to fill this in, go to the hole tool, create a new hole, and redo all those features. The geometry is there. Why not use it? 
Let's go ahead and make one other quick change to this design. If I flip this over, there's actually a KTM logo. I want to offset this logo and make it a little bigger. You know, it's the kind of change that marketing might hand down or something. Again, flex modeling allows you to do this and it's pretty simple and straightforward. Now, in the last few minutes, we made a number of changes to imported data that used to be very difficult and time consuming. So think about Unite Technology and the Creo tools you've just seen, and think about how useful it would be to read data in and make changes to it and take advantage of Creo's collaboration extension. The collaboration extension allows Creo and you to understand the links between designs that you pulled in and the new history you've created with the model. What do I mean by that? Let's say there was a design change to this bracket. Maybe the bracket was modified slightly and they add a new logo to the bottom. They made some slight changes to it in some way. Do I have to read that in from SolidWorks and redo all this? Probably not. With the collaboration extension, I can go ahead and check and see if there's been an update or revision to the original model. Or I can update or change the link to a completely different model. So in this case, we're going to work with a triple tree that has an added logo. Once I do that, as long as it's similar, Creo is going to compare the newly linked geometry and the geometry in session. If there's a difference, you'll see a warning right down here, essentially saying you have a file that's out of date. Now what can you do? Well, once I see that warning, I can go ahead and say, I want to update this. This is going to pull in that new model. You're going to see we have this new logo on the bottom. Um, we'll have steering stops in their original location. And uh, the original hole pattern is going to be right up here at the top. The original bore on the top hole too. But now we can apply the changes we made to the original version of this new model. I don't have to time, spend time and effort going back and applying all those changes and doing everything over again. Because it's similar geometry, it will just apply those changes to the new version of the model. So once it's done, you're going to see what happened here. We have the steering stops in the new location. We also have a smaller bore. And if I flip it around, you'll see we have the updated logo offset. This is truly the power of using Creo. This idea that you can import information from pretty much anywhere without converting it to IGES or STEP and have it come in clean, and then make changes using flexible modeling that in the past would have been extremely difficult or simply impossible. And finally, using the collaboration extension to update models with a new revision or completely new file name and have your changes apply automatically. That's the power of Creo. Especially when you think about how we all work with any number of suppliers and vendors and partners. I mean, more likely than not, they use different CAD systems. It's a great reason to use PTC technology to make your life easier, make your business run faster, and ultimately improve profitability. Well, that's all there is to importing CAD data from multiple systems with Creo. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. We'll be publishing more videos like this. For more information on Creo Parametric or Unite Technology, visit eacpds.com or give us a call. Have a good one.